all my glasses are gone, I think. Good morning, guys. What did I do? I don't know. I put my, my hands up all Happy the Sunday. Happy okay. Sunday to you. My broken, oh, I'm sorry. My broken finger. Nail. It's not a finger. Yeah, fingernail. It is a fingernail. Yeah, I said it's a f Oh my goodness. These people are taking forever. Hey guys, good morning and happy Sunday once more. Mm -hmm. We're at Dunkin' Donuts right now. We've been in this line for about 10 minutes. Yeah, we're heading to church. So, you guys remember, you were the one telling them about the other church place. Mm -hmm. You want to continue telling them where we're going? Um, it's called the Church of 1122. And this morning we're going to the campus where the, where the pastor actually preaches. I almost said police. <laughs> mm -hmm. My dad got into a car accident last night and he was just telling me about talking to the police and stuff like that. So I about said where the police preach at. <laughs> yeah. All right. Did we get everything, guys? Yes, they did. All right. Moving forward. Oh, so that's where we're going. That's where we'll be attending church today. Morning. Mm -hmm. Can I get a little cup of water? Yeah. Is this mine? Yes. Thank you. Hmm. Okay. Is it good? Yeah. Do y'all have um, ketchup? This is my first time having this. Can I get some ketchup, please? Thank you, man. Thank you. Oh, so, guys, I was so excited for us to vlog today because I need to hold on this guy. Anyways, because yesterday, oh my gosh, yesterday was a long day and Thank you, sir. too much fun day. Let me say it again. Yeah. We had fun yesterday. So yesterday we went to the beach, right? We actually wanted to take you guys along with us. But um, we always get too busy with the beach in the way that I don't even know what happens and we forget things. Yeah. Ooh. Breakfast ready. Breakfast. Babe, you gotta go. I know how far they are. So we went and we didn't even stay there for more than like two hours. Yeah. Maybe. And it, it, it was like it started raining. Yeah. He's belt He wants me to get on really fast. Oh, that's a we had to get back home but when we got home yeah we um as i was saying guys we came back um we went to the pool we were there literally all day they are just having a pool um a birthday party there we spent time with them. We just had fun, I would say. Because literally that's the only day that we have to just, you know. I mean, Sunday is sometimes enjoy each other. Yeah, but most times Sunday is like we have to record, we have to post, we have to do that. All that stuff. But, um, so, yeah, yeah, this is what I wanted to say. You guys know I don't know how to swim, right? Yesterday was my first... I mean, I tried before, but I was so scared. But yesterday, I actually was swimming. I literally did so good. Maybe I did good, right? Uh huh. <laughs> he was the one teaching me. She was swimming by herself. 
I, I really did it. I was so proud of myself. I was so excited. Nobody could understand why I was that excited, but I was like, you guys don't get it. You all here can swim. Look at all these kids getting here and they can swim, but I'm sitting here. I can't even move because <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> oh, and when we went to the beach yesterday, the waves were really bad. And I had my thing, um, what is it called? Your donut float? Yeah, my, my floaty. The wave literally took me out of that floaty and like, oh my gosh, it was really bad. It was bad, literally. I lost my, I don't know why I had my glasses on, but my sunshades on, but I lost that. Flipped and it down. just flipped me everywhere. I was just trying to get out of it. It literally flipped our head into the water. <laughs> he was running to me because he know I'm freaking out already. Fireworks. We should get some fireworks. Yeah. And Thursday on July 4th, go to the beach and shoot off fireworks and we can bring y'all with us. Of course. Yep. We have been trying. I was telling them we've been trying to uh, do that, but bring it's been us. so hard. So you guys should help me out. Um, I'm thinking about comment and let me know if like just like a fire stick I've heard of these fire sticks and stuff are good like people that just get internet but they can watch anything with their fire stick if they have like Amazon Prime and Netflix and stuff like that but you guys should comment below and let me know because at this point I'm so sick of what, are we, what do we have to do? we have Xfinity Comcast cable and internet but the internet connection is just horrible. And like, it's so bad. And I don't know why, because in Georgia, it wasn't like that. In Georgia, it was. I thought I was never, thinking it's because of the weather. Down and here. again, in Georgia, I had cable ran in both rooms. And I had the internet modem, the Wi Fi modem, right next to the living room TV. Right now, our Wi Fi modem's in our bedroom, and our TV runs off of a wireless Wi Fi box. And that Maybe box, they need to change that. The box? Mm -mm. The wireless thing. I don't know what is going on with it. Yeah, but, but in our living room, the cable, the cable port is on the other. It's on a, a totally opposite wall. Yeah. That's the only reason why I had him running in the bedroom, because I don't want a cable wire going all the way across my wall. But at this point, I'll just get Wi-Fi. I'll just get internet. Get internet mode, Wi Fi modem. Let me ask you a question. How did you eat so fast? Because I was hungry. It's like in the morning, I mean, it's, it's 11 already, but still, it's hard for me to swallow. I it. just, I really love food. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really like when, I, when I'm hungry, when I'm hungry and, and there's food in front of me. And it tastes good. I devour it. Babe, do you see how beautiful it is out here? Yeah, I like it. This I've been. It. I wanted but to show them, but I'm still like eating. Hold oh, on. Wait, this is. I didn't even know that this is here. Like. I know. It's like a different. It's like so beautiful. You guys, I just finished eating. She just finished eating. I finished eating about four miles ago. <sighs> Yeah, maybe today uh, when we get out of church, we'll go. Um, oh, look. I don't let you stop. Oh my God. I'm going to check it out after church. Trust me. Maybe we'll go um, take you guys on a lunch date. Well, no. I just ate. I don't know. But we got to get home because the cable guy's coming. I just met the cable man. And he told me about the games they play. Do it all. I'm still a man. Well, you look very good. Let's go get in church. Do I? Yeah. Out of church. That's a church right there, guys. But the service was awesome. I can't wait to get in the car and just tell you guys a little bit of what I learned today. Because that's what usually happens. And it's like <laughs> the sun is out and out. I mean, I don't know how much degrees is up today i think it, is, it was supposed to be 80 something or 90 something i can't remember this morning i was watching it but where is the crowd babe 
Oh, okay. I'm just walking. I literally, I'm not looking. The service was awesome. We need to like really, literally rush back home because they are uh, Xfinity guys. Their apartment is at one, and we just left church. It's like twelve forty already. So we need to like rush back home so he can get this fixed. But guys, let me walk to the car and we'll get back to you guys. Whew. It's hot. It's hot. Are you yelling at them? I'm yelling at the heat. I just want to fight the heat because it's so hot. I want to fight it with cold air. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Oh man. So guys, we're on our way home. Church was awesome. It was good. Church was pretty good. The pastor, it was life again, which my husband was a little bit kind of down with it. But the reason why it's like that is because he's on vacation right now with family. And mm -hmm. that's why it's mostly like that these days. But actually, this is where the church where he was like, you know, preaching life. You know, present, you can see him, not just seeing the screen. Yeah. And it was awesome. Yeah, it is. I found out one of the ladies told me it is the actual church where he preaches live at, but he was he's just on vacation, so yeah, it was pre-recorded. Um, but the actual message itself was awesome. It was yeah, it, it was, was really amazing. good. So something that I don't have. Here's my phone. Right? Something that I don't have to stress out about because it it would have really put me down to find out that he doesn't preach their live because I feel a connection. You were looking forward to that? Yeah, it's almost, I feel like it's it's not like a God's word and God's message can't get through a screen. Times have changed and I know that God is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. He will never change, so his word will reach any way possible. Uh -huh. But for me, I like to that have that connection with the pastor, and I like to feel that that spirit, the spirit move, and you know, it's just a little different. So. It's just, a, it's true, because actually, it's something we're used to, mm -hmm. and from I was just telling like when, him when Pastor Jason preaches, yeah, versus when we see him on the screen, you can tell the difference in like just having like you. You can see his eyes, you know. <laughs> you can see in his face. Yeah, you can you can see him physically. It's different. Yeah. So yeah, as long as also you get the message, which is just the most important thing. Mm -hmm. That's just the important part of the whole, you know, the whole thing. We need to see him in person. So you get back from your vacation, Pastor. We're looking forward in meeting you. Yeah, and that's one thing. Like, I want to meet him and shake his hand and talk to him. That's my husband for you, okay? <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's true. I, I don't, I don't, I, I understand you, babe. Trust me, I get the whole thing where you're coming from. But of course, we would hit every red light on this road. Right. Look at all these palm trees, babe. I know, but it's not show them around so they can see the city. Or oh, wherever we are, it's not the city, but. Yeah, it is the city. <laughs> <laughs> I mean Do you wanna not... share a little bit of the message? I literally want us to talk about it but Okay, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Why don't you start something? Go ahead, Pastor Ross. Well, don't call me Pastor Ross. I'm I'm not a pastor, okay? I'm just as you are making mistakes every day, uh, being imperfect, even though for the I always want everything to be perfect as hard as I try, but that's just normal that nothing is ever going to be perfect, yeah. okay? And something that I learned today was, no matter what you are going through, no matter how big the giant is. In your okay, life, you wanted me to talk, right? Okay, yeah, so go, let go, me go. talk. Thank you. No matter what you are going through, no matter the circumstance, no, I mean, whatever it is, it could be anything. I don't want to name it. We all go through something, and you can't say this thing that this person is going through is smaller than the other thing that this other person is going through because you don't know what you would do if you were in their shoe. So I would just go ahead and say this, no matter what you are going through, trust me, just believe in God and have faith that 
he is doing is for his glory and he is going to use you for a purpose because he have you on earth for a purpose so mm -hmm. don't ever let it let it shape you and grow you into something that he wants to grow you into that's all I would say for you. that's what I learned today and that's what I wanted to reach you guys that's what I wanted to tell you guys I wanted to reach you guys with this I don't know you get the English I'm not an English madam or mistress or whatever <laughs> so guys I hope you guys got something out of what I was trying to explain to you guys of what I learned today it was good babe you mm -hmm. know don't let your circumstances be bigger don't let your circumstances be bigger than your faith you know like because we were he was preaching in the book of first Samuel chapter 7 which is you know the story of David versus Goliath and how God was molding and shaping David from the time that he was hurt uh, being a shepherd in the pastures for years and years and years and years playing the harp um, fighting off lions and bears with slingshots to the moment where the entire nation of Israel was so scared of this one Philistine that they let their circumstances they let their circumstance and who was in the, the giant that was in front of them be bigger than their God they were the promised people of Israel you know and David had the faith that his promise was bigger. God's promise was bigger than Israel's problem at that moment. So God's promise will always be bigger than your problem. Right. And it's don't don't waste God's time in that in the pasture. Right now, you know, if I I could be God could be trying to mold me right now for something five to six seven years in the future right. but if i waste god's time and i don't spend time with him and i don't perfect the spiritual gifts that he's given me then when that time comes i won't succeed in what god has planned for me yeah and because you, i won't i won't have it won't be like I, i've been here i've done this i know what to do you know what i'm saying like yeah. like when david faced goliath He'd been there. He'd fought off lions and bears. He had been in in a situation where his faith was the only thing that he had to stand on. Yeah, I was about to say that. Just have that faith and that's that thing that will always just keep you going and going. Mm -hmm. It will be hard. Are we saying it's going to be easy? No. Do you guys think we have things that we struggle with? So many. <laughs> a lot of it. And we would love to share some of these things with you guys. But we're just letting you guys know that we also struggle a lot. I mean, a lot every day. It's not just like we, it's every day. We encounter things that we really, really do struggle with. But we just have to know that there is that one person that will never let you down, will never leave you alone. Even if everybody don't care, you know, yeah. no matter how hard the situation is, that person is there. And who is that person? It's God. When we always say keep our faith and our trust in God, we always need to, when we speak to people, tell them, keep your faith and your trust in God, who is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We might, anytime that you speak to people about God, mm -hmm. always as a Christian, even though you know God is Jesus, right. they don't know God is Jesus. You know what I'm saying? People that don't know God and don't know Jesus don't know him as the creator. They right. don't know that he was there in the beginning. He's the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. Right. That is Jesus Christ. And Christ just means Messiah, means the Savior. Right. He didn't have a last name. His name was just Yeshua. That right. was it, point blank. But he is the creator of the world. He was there. He is the image of the invisible God. He is the Son of Man. So when we say God... That we always need to be mindful when we're speaking to people that don't know him. This is who we're talking about. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ooh. So guys, we literally just got home. And the um, Xfinity guy is here. 
So my husband just rushed in. Where is my phone? Oh, it's right behind this big tree. My husband just rushed in to let him in. We're just right in time. And I guess we'll get in here and try to end this video. And um, yeah, so let's get in. Look at that. Well guys, we're back home. Um, we hope y'all enjoyed this video. <laughs> what? Nothing. I mean, I do. I hope they enjoyed the video. Just us talking and discussing God and the church. You know, that's what we do a lot. <laughs> so, um, we just hope that y'all got something out of this. Hope you enjoyed it. If y'all want to uh, see what the church looks like, come back with us. Uh, leave a comment and let us know. Also, leave a comment and let us know um, if y'all want us to do a beach vlog. Um, Even if you guys don't leave a comment, get trust me, Ross will give it to you. Yeah, guys. she'll give it why. to you. So, um, <laughs> we're excited. Thursday's 4th of July. We'll take y'all. We'll try to shoot some fireworks off. I gotta go buy some. And we'll record that. And we'll also see y'all again on Wednesday. So, we hope you enjoyed this video. Y'all should like, subscribe, comment. And hit the notification bell. Don't forget to share, guys. Share, guys. share, share, guys. <laughs> Something like me. Yes, don't forget to share. And my husband said you should do all the good stuff. If you like it, just stay with us. And yeah, we are back home. I need to go outside and take my pictures. My cameraman. Yes, thank you, babe. What pictures? Yeah, I just mean like just pictures. I mean, come on. I'm going to show them what I okay. went to church today. And then I, the video will end. I promise. Okay. I promise. The, babe, you're right behind me. But if you guys remember this dress. Do you guys remember that dress? Yeah, that's what I wore to church today. And then, let's get down. I look like that. And, well, I don't know where I left my purse. But it's somewhere. Look at my baby. Right there. Yep, and it's hot. Okay. Bye, bye, bye. Peace. <laughs> I'll keep showing you till you say peace again. Peace. Again. <laughs>